God says we overextend ourselves and end up accomplishing nothing well and we can't have time to enjoy them since our lives are so busy so to fully receive and enjoy what is promised after carrying out my plan you need to have the patience and fortitude to persevere in the face of adversity without giving in Jesus' promises to send you people, things and money that you could never have dreamed even the sensation of being happy or free has escaped our memory. Stop trying so hard I'm telling you stop. Believing that you must have everything figured out before God allows these other things I want from. You says God be devoted to God. I want you to be one with God, be truthful to yourself and to others love God's word, especially the Bible and prayer. Take good care of people who can benefit from your care. Convey your faith in Jesus Christ. To others, especially those who need it, the most such as prisoners, the poor, those who are afflicted with mental illness, those who are dependent on drugs or alcohol, and those who live violent. Lives I desire for your life to change. I want you to take an action that will change the world. Put your confidence and faith in me. Stay calm and realize that I, I am God. The months of June, July and August are chock full of good news. Blessings, progress and favorable treatment from God. God desires for you to love and live in the same ways that he does. He desires for you to understand how much he cherishes you and how much he desires that you live for him giving. You a place to live in this world is not enough for me. I wish to give you an abundantly joyful and loving life. God wants to offer you a happy and loving existence, but you must be open to receiving it. You persevered through the most trying circumstances. The Lord says, I gave you the stamina to persevere that occasionally you weren't even aware it was me you must be open to allowing God to use your circumstances in accordance with his overall plan for your life. I want you to be someone who appreciates themselves, is strong and healthy yet lies in the present and makes the most of each day. I want you to be someone who knows how much fun life can be and is able to enjoy it to the fullest. I want you to be someone who believes in me and has faith in my capability to provide for your happiness and prosperity together as we develop and learn from one another. I want us to appreciate life. It may seem unusual to you that God would say something like this, yet it is true. People abandoned you and wrote you off. When your circumstances changed, you not only survived the hurricane, but you also developed during it. You are unique. You weren't made by me to blend in. I made you to be distinctive. I'm about to bless your Fidelity right now you have to believe. There are numerous explanations for this, but I'll simply list three of them here. First, you can't please God without faith. It is impossible to please God without faith. Jesus, you see, entered this earth as both the Son of God and the Son of Man, and he was aware of what it was like to be subjected to sin, Satan, and both type yes, if you believe in God, God bless you.